Hi, my name is Kim Hampton and I'm a digital learning coach here in the Frisco Independent School District in Frisco, Texas. And I work here at Lebanon Trail High School and also at the Career and Technical Education Center, which are two of our 68 campuses in Frisco ISD. In addition, I help develop and facilitate district-wide technology trainings. Now, I think it's our job as educators to continually be improving and continually be learning and always be honing our craft. And I feel like the uh, Google Certified Trainer program is something that will allow me to do that. I think it's going to push me to be a better trainer. It's going to make me a, a better resource for my teachers and possibly even let me expand my reach beyond our district walls. Thanks for considering me as an applicant for the Google Certified Trainer program. Hey math friends, this one is for you. We're going to look at the GMath add-on for Google Docs today. If you don't have it, click on add-ons, get add-ons, and just type in GMath in the search box. You might find it though if you scroll down a little bit because it's pretty popular. Click on the blue get button, mine's green because I already have it, and then accept any permissions you need to to get it installed. Now once you've got that, just go up here to add-ons, GMath, create math expressions, and you can type in expressions and equations to throw into your document. For example, y equals 2x minus 3. Now, my spacing doesn't matter. It's going to fix all of the spaces for me, so I love that. Um, and then you just click the left arrow button to add it to your document. Now, if you have an expression or equation that requires some more symbols, you can just click on the Advanced tab and throw them in using these buttons. All right? Now, I'm going to put a piece of graph paper in here for my students to use. So I'm going to go back to, to Add-ons, GMath, Create a Graph. And because I want blank paper, I'm just going to clear out everything in the function box. I think I will adjust my window here just a little bit, just like I would on a graphing calculator. And I'm going to say Insert in Doc. And it's going to pull that little piece of graph paper right over. Now these things come in as images, so I can resize them if I want. Just like that, very easy. I'm not sure I like this formatting, but if I hit wrap text, that'll send that equation up to the top, and I like that much better. Now, if I want to actually graph an equation of a line, all I have to do is put that equation uh, right in here and insert, and it will do it all automatically for me. I can even do systems using this uh, editor. Okay, there you go. I hope that you found this beneficial, and I hope that this will be useful and help you utilize Google Docs more with your math classes.